As you might know, uh, that a lot of patients die of prostate cancer and there is a huge un unmet need to develop new therapies. So given that patients who are, uh, have metastatic hormone sensitive prostate cancer have limited uh, treatment options, we thought that there might be a great interest in identifying intermediate clinical endpoints that could serve as surrogate for overall survival. So normally when we do clinical trials to find new drugs, often we use overall survival as a primary endpoint. And this is considered universally as a gold standard endpoint. However, the endpoint, even though it's objectively measured and it's uh, uh, well accepted in the scientific community, the problem with this endpoint that it would require a large number of patients to be enrolled in a study. It also requires a long duration of follow-up. And more importantly, uh, there are therapies that uh, are given after progression to patients. And those therapies may interfere uh, or may confound with, it, uh, with the estimation of the treatment effect based on, um, on overall survival. Because of all these uh, challenges, there are interests in the scientific community and uh, clinical trialists to explore other endpoints that are considered solid uh, and or are objectively measured. So we had like two phases in this project. Our fa first phase was to identify um, the intermediate clinical endpoint. We have like several endpoints we want to consider, but in the analysis today, I presented two endpoints that are commonly collected. The first one is radiographic progression-free survival, and the second endpoint is clinical progression-free survival. Now, uh, coming to the results, we used a well-known uh, state-of-the-art method that's based on correlation, and we needed to test for two conditions. The first condition required that the uh, surrogate endpoint and overall survival, which is the true endpoints, are correlated. And the second condition mandates that the treatment effects on both the surrogate and overall survival are also correlated. So based of, on an analysis of over 8,500 patients, we demonstrated that RPFS and clinical progression-free survival are, uh, appear to be valid surrogate endpoints of overall survival. I think the important message here to make is that uh, we're not yet ready to embark on clinical trials using radiographic progression-free survival and clinical, uh, clinical progression-free survival as primary endpoints in phase three trials. Uh, the next phase of our research is to use contemporary data with treatments that were based on potent androgen receptor therapies. And if those endpoints are validated, then we would have demonstrated rigorously that those endpoints are ready for prime time.